Although many people visualize deserts as dry, desolate wastelands, the term actually defines a wide spectrum of landscapes and plant and animal population densities. The common denominator of all deserts is extreme aridity. Water is freely available only for short periods following rains. Desert is often defined as a place that receives less than 10 inches of annual average rainfall. A concise non-technical definition of a desert is a place where water is severely limiting to life most of the time. Though desert plants and animals must cope with scarce water, the common perception that they are struggling to survive is grossly inaccurate. The native biota is adapted to and usually thrives under these conditions and, in fact, most of the species require an arid environment for survival. Look at it this way, if a desert received much more rain, it wouldn't be a desert. A different, wetter biome would replace it. Thus, an alternative and more positive definition might be, a desert is a biological community in which most of the indigenous plants and animals are adapted to chronic aridity and periodic extreme droughts and in which these conditions are necessary to maintain the community's structure. The desert biome requires chronic aridity, but not all of its component species do. North America has four major deserts. They are as follows. The Great Basin Desert, the Mojave Desert, the Chihuahuan Desert, and the Sonoran Desert. Three of them are found here in Arizona. All but the Sonoran Desert have cold winters. Freezing temperatures are even more limiting to plant life than is aridity, so colder deserts are poor in both species and life forms, especially succulents. The Great Basin Desert is both the highest elevation and northernmost of the four North American deserts and has very cold winters. The seasonal distribution of precipitation varies with latitude but temperatures limit the growing season to summer. Vegetation is dominated by a few species of low, small leaf shrubs. There are almost no trees or succulents and few annuals. The indicator plant, the most common or conspicuous one used to identify an area, is big sagebrush, which often grows in nearly pure stands over huge vistas. Such cold shrub deserts in the old world are called steppes. The Mojave Desert is characterized largely by its winter rainy season. Hard freezes are common, but not as severe as in the Great Basin Desert. The perennial vegetation is composed mostly of low shrubs. Annuals carpet the ground in wet years. Few succulents and trees grow there. The only common tree species is the characteristic Joshua tree, a tree like yucca that forms extensive woodlands above 3,000 feet in elevation. Though the Chihuahuan Desert is the southernmost North American desert, it lies at a fairly high elevation and is not protected from Arctic air masses by any barrier, so hard winter freezes are common. Its vegetation consists of many species of low shrubs, leaf succulents, and small cacti. Trees are rare. Rainfall is predominantly in the summer but in its northern reaches, there is occasionally enough winter rain to support massive blooms of spring annuals. Despite the cold winters, the Chihuahuan Desert is rich in species. The Sonoran Desert, as currently defined, covers approximately 100,000 square miles and includes much of the state of Sonora, Mexico, most of the southern half of Arizona, southeastern California, most of the Baja California Peninsula, and the islands of the Gulf of California. It is lush in comparison to most other deserts. The visually dominant elements of the landscape are two life forms that distinguish the Sonoran Desert from the other North American deserts, one being legume trees such as the Palo Verde, mesquite, and ironwood trees, and also large columnar cactus such as the saguaro and the giant cardones of Mexico.
It is also home to about 130 species of mammals, more than 500 kinds of birds, 20 amphibians, 100 or so reptiles, and 30 native freshwater fish. Perhaps as many as 2,500 native species of plants occur within the Sonoran Desert proper. So there you have it, the four major deserts of North America. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and help me keep Arizona wild. The narration of this video came from a book that I recently picked up called A Natural History of the Sonoran Desert done by a group of super smart people from the Arizona Sonora Desert Museum. I highly, highly recommend picking it up. It's, a, it's an incredible reference guide to all things Sonoran Desert.